Hello there, and welcome to Alex Attempts Tabletop. I'm Alex, surprise. So today I'm gonna to show you how to paint black on your miniatures because it's one of those things people don't like doing. I don't like doing it. Recently I had a commission where I was highlighting Black Legion. I kind of found a way what I liked. I tried it again on another miniature. I kind of like it, so I'm gonna show you how to do it now. So, bam, let's go. So first off for painting a black miniature, you want to paint your miniature black. So I just primed this and then I put a bad and black on it. And then I put a non oil wash over it. I don't know why, I just like putting a non oil wash over it and then your miniature is ready to highlight. So first off I used um, Stedagon Scale Green. Yes, I pronounced that wrong. It's a fancy dinosaur name. It's kind of a darkish blue. But what I like about it, once you apply it, it does fade down a bit and you kind of apply kind of like a highlight. Of course, this is like the baseline, so it can be a bit chunkier. I really like the kind of bluey green it gives with the black. And originally, when I first started doing this as the main highlight, I was always skeptical. But it's really won me over because, as you can see, I'm making a video on this. So clearly, I like using this. But yeah, it's really cool. So you just go around. Highlight all the corners, rims, all that jazz. And then there's a close up of just it done with that first layer. And now our second layer, which is Thunderhawk Blue. So, of course, with highlighting, we're going a bit brighter. And with this one, you want to kind of just apply in certain corners and edges, um, put it over the first highlight, but not completely hide it under. And yeah, you're just going to start picking up the corners, edges, as you can see here, what I'm doing with the hands and the fingers. And throughout this video, um, I'm just giving you some tips while I'm doing it. Um, if you make little mistakes, don't be afraid. Um, I would then go back over with a bad and black and just paint up certain highlight corners if I put it on too thick or I messed it up. Um, you're not going to get this right the first time. As I said, I'm still trying to master this even after making this video. A lot of this is just trial and error. It works better on some miniatures and also you improve highlighting, so that's good. So there you can see it there. It's already starting to stand out, which is good. And now the last one you wanna do is Fern, Rizzi and Grey. Now out of the three highlights, this is the brightest color. So you don't want to go crazy with this. You literally wanna do little specks on like corners to kind of give like a reflection and it kind of brings the three highlight colors together. So you want to do it in like corners and like little high raised edges. And then that will kind of give like a light glare. As you can see here, I'm just doing like little corners on the raised areas, helping it pop. And as I keep saying, if you make mistakes, just go back over, tidy up. You don't have to get it right the first time. And here you can see me just applying it in the corners of the chest just to bring those two other highlights together. And coming up now is going to be a picture of the finished thing. So I applied some gold on just to give some contrast. And I like it. I think it's okay. I like it. It's a bit different than using grey. And here it is on another miniature. Here's the commission. And yeah, and that's, that's the thing for you. So hopefully you found that useful. Um, it's a bit of a different style instead of like the standard like Eshen Grey and then all the greys. I kind of like this style of like a bit of a chunkier highlight and kind of, I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> but it just helps the model pop a bit and it makes the black stand out, but it kind of contrasts well, I think. Um, you don't have to like it. I like it and it gave me an excuse to make this video. Um, so as usual, if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And also, I've got something different to show before end of the video, so we're gonna to go to that quickly. So I've started a Patreon, three different tiers, Cultist, Trooper, Legionary. They all come with different benefits, end credits, behind the scenes, priority suggestions on videos, and you get 10% on commissions, and you can get a mug after six months, pretty cool. So yeah, I suggest checking that out. I've already got some people backing me. There's the about section, and we're really close to hitting the first goal on Premiere Pro, which means I can make fancier editing software. And then I'm trying to raise some money to help the Aeronautica Imperial series. 
I've already done a post, um, it's just me pre-planning what's happening in the future. It's quite easy to set up. And yeah, that's it. And there was my Patreon pitched for you. Um, it is what it is. You can support if you want for the channel. You don't have to. Um, I really appreciate it. Like the, the cultist tier is literally cheaper than a cup of coffee. It's going to go towards the channel 100% where I'm going to get better editing software and then do other bits and bobs. So check it out if you want to. Already I have some patrons, so I have to thank them. I'm going to have their names pop up or I will in post-production think of a way to say thanks with a screen or whatever. But yeah, as usual, thank you for dropping on by. Hopefully this video was helpful. I enjoyed making it for you. And I'll see you next time with something new. So till next time, you all take care. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.